Welcome back to Fox 43 AM Live. Join us now as Melissa Kirkwood with Sunset Zoo. Good morning. Good morning. Great to have you on the show here. Always, always love our friends over at the zoos. We're always fun, mm -hmm. and we bring a lot more fun. You candy. Yes, Thank you so much. Yes, we bought real candy. It's the real thing. <laughs> it's the real thing. It's not the mashed potatoes <laughs> that we were talking about earlier. And Okay, so it's Halloween season now, and you guys have had some uh, wonderful events coming going around and coming up on October um, 20th is right starting yep, over there. It starts there. on the 20th. The spooktacular. Thing. Yeah, it starts on the 20th, goes all the way through the weekend. We start on a Friday evening and then all day Saturday, all day Sunday. Mm -hmm. So it's our way to kind of kick off that trick-or-treat season. Um, it's our longest standing event at Sunset Zoo. We've been doing it for over 35 years. Wow. So quite the event in it Manhattan, quite the event. It, it, At this point, 35 years, you know, you know, kids 35 years ago that were going in there are now taking their kids. Their kids, so. exactly. And we do hear those stories. Mm -hmm. So um, we just celebrate the weekend with lots of activities for kids and families alike. Um, Friday night is really designed for it to be a sensory friendly night okay. because Halloween in and of itself can be a little daunting for any mm, child. Yeah, yeah. And um, that evening we design it to be sensory friendly or if you just don't like really large crowds, that is your night to come. Yeah, so, so how does Friday night look different than the weekend then? Yeah, so we spread our uh, candy booths out a little bit more. Um, we don't have our smoke machines going. We also um, have um, low sensor, like we don't bring in entertainers mm -hmm. that night with loud noises. So just some of those key touches that night. And it's a shorter time frame, mm -hmm. 530 to 730 on uh, Friday night. And then Saturday, we kick it off um, 930 to 5 um, throughout the whole day. Uh, one of the things we started to do during COVID, and we have just stayed with it, is to do timed tickets yeah, to the that. event. Um, because this is a very popular event, we draw um, anywhere from 5,000 to 7,500 people in those two days. <laughs> um, so um, we timed the tickets so there wasn't really long lines. Mm -hmm. um, it, because Yeah, everyone's going to want to go at 10 a.m. Right, and then right. you have a line that you're going right. to be in line for three hours. Right, and when you have a child in costume <laughs> and they know there's candy when they enter, you kind of want to get them in the gate as quickly as possible. Um, once once you're in the gate with your time, your time ticket, you can stay as long as you'd like, but we just try to spread those times mm -hmm. out so that it evens our crowd out a little bit as well. And, and throughout the day, it's not just candy stations. We will have entertainment. Um, we have several different dance troops coming, musical entertainment, um, performances, and then uh, we also have added features that weekend as well. Like we'll bring in a couple of food trucks and cotton candy type vendors that as well. And then we also work with some of our partners. Um, a and Farms um, brings small pumpkins for the kids to paint or stickers. Mm -hmm. So it's really fun. Um, you'll end up spending quite a bit of time there probably <laughs> with, sure. with the event, but it is um, a really great way to celebrate the season and, and we're excited to do it. Oh, it sounds like so much fun. And so um, you said there was music, you know, food vendors, all this kind of activity is going yeah. on. Are the music will be will the music be changing throughout the day and the it weekend? Will, it will change. Um, we partner with some of the, our local dance troops. We also partner with our high school um, pops choir comes in. We have um, some some different entertainers that come in. So it will change from day to day. So you'll see different people on Saturday than you will on Sunday. And then we also have costume contests. Yes. Um, both days on Saturday and Sunday for all ages. So we do separate it out into age categories. Categories. So if you're working on that costume right now, keep working on it, <laughs> um, and we'll give away some really fun prizes. Wonderful. For that too. And so, will um, times be on on everything on the website? Yeah, everything's okay. on the website at sunsetzoo.com, and you can um, buy your tickets online. We'll ha start doing our entertainment schedule next week, and then we'll also have rules about our costume contest starting this week. You use that. Head over to sunsetzoo.com. Look at the schedule and get your time to ticket. Yeah. Uh, to know when you want to go and to yeah. see what you want to see. Come, sleep. stay all day, but get that ticket now because um, it is a very busy weekend. Yes, for get us. that ticket now. On, yep. uh, yeah, uh, on sale now, yep. sunsetzoo.com, right? Yep, sunsetzoo.com. Wonderful. There you go. Well, Melissa, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank this you. This has been a pleasure. And of course, once again, everybody, to learn more and get a full list of events, you can visit sunsetzoo.